These are the best highlights from the matchup between TT and IG during the 2024 LPL Summer Split. Thing T, they're sniffing out. Beach one might get caught here. They spot Griffith Ooh. onto that. Flash. That's Vampire going forwards. Beach one gets away. Vampire ends up hooking the wall, and that's unfortunate. <laughs> Threat flash for the triple headbutt. Pulv, I apologize. There's no headbutt, but they will still be banging their heads into the walls of TT's jungle. IG are so deep. A gold card afterwards. GLFS, good luck, and this game is over. Oh man, IG, watch their support, hook the level one into Doom. Vampire flashes, fails the hook, and throws the team under the bus. Jungler dead, support dead, TT on the roll. Uh, we need to see better better play from you. Uh, they've not been playing very well as a unit so far. This is much better. They took that slack from level one, which IG very much threw to them. Um, and now they're- they are you, Cal, a player who has, in years past, been so core cool to Hang on, we'll hold on to that as the bowling ball lands. This might just be a strike in the mid lane. Spate Seal comes on down afterwards into the watch out. Eep, Cal falls apart. Really don't know why he pulled the flash after that point. Flash early. Don't get hit by that swell seed. Yukal goes down and... It is. So, um, TC, really good game so far. Vampire has flash, has level 6. Batron already hit. Oh, he should be going boy. down. Does get out for now. He's about to get engaged on with the fate. Still, they pulled wide by the hook. That's unfortunate. Griffith is danger on the other side as Yukal gets that one with a solid ultimate in. The Destiny Gate doesn't work as Vampire stake through the heart. It's a double to Yukal. It's a double to Yukal off of Vampire pulling your target like out this, of the. The entire turret goes. Wisecam would have to all in to defend the turret. He's not going to be able to do that. Um, full turret falls, gold share between Kennen and Brand, that's a nasty prospect. While all this is happening again, IG, um, they have to watch more towers fall, they can't even all in towards this top side. Griffith might look for a big flash play, that's the ult coming through from Hoya though, and luckily the Demolish will secure them that turret. Hoya doesn't die, but he ends up pulling that ult just to make sure he's safe. Yeah, and he clears out the way with that little bit as well, but Beichuan is back in the driver's seat looking to, uh, make this a bit of an F1 challenge. Golkan Danani, who fate seals away, wanting to avoid that particular grisly outcome. Tier 2, still likely to fall even with a true shot for us to try and trim the wave. TT getting a lot of value there. Dragons in a minute, and I think TT will be very easily walking towards that as well. Is if TT get themselves this mid lane out of turret, I think this game is a yeah. Like, I feel like the game is. I, I don't like call. I hesitate to call games over directly because again, there's always like the late game flank shenanigans and stuff. But this is about as over as it gets. Matchup. It's just not been the case because of the level one. I hate to keep going back to it, but this whole game does come down to that. It it sucks. It sucks the fact that you have a game which is you know quite important. That's at least we have seen Wisecam get a few plates after Ken and teleported for that second dragon fight. It's likely to get a hold of this second turret. So that's still good news on that. Oh, the ult's going to come through for wave play. Wisecam has misjudged this turret. Shot's coming through, but now there's no damage left for Hoyer. He's still begins to order. Misses the shuriken, though. Teleport coming on through to try and defend this. Might be too late. Gets to hop away. The burn might be enough. Just about alive. Oh, the airy procking the Leandries again. Hang Almost on. brought him down. I think you can finish it off Ooh, for him. The flash. flash out saves him. That's clean as all get out. Nanages to Destiny Gate on in. And here comes the rest of TT. Pyroclasm goes flying on through. Arn needs to flash away as the blaze continues to tick his health bars down. What XN! Wall riding into four goes very deep, but Thunder Talk are bringing the lightning. Everyone else just about survives, but they're having to run tail and hide in their base. Good yes. scam. Look at on the minimap. He is oh, yeah. on the flank. If he can get the flank, this can change everything. TF does have ult. You no can spot people out. Hoya is also on the flank, and Wisecam was just spotted. TT, this is where they want to seal out the game. IG, can they get the flank? Hoya is still an unknown quantity now. Going to deal with YSKM. The fight continues. Vampire flashing away. Skull God comes on in. YSKM into the backline. Gets jungle to Yukal, but cannot get that much more dragon being taken all the wide fade. Sealed lands onto one, but they've already lost the dragon. Soul goes down in the one for one and one XN. Says X marks the spot. I have a little bit more than you think I am. The damage coming flying on through as the gold card onto Nani means he tries to get something, but the fate sealed is not enough. The soul and bound is not enough across the fight. And they will lose the soul, they will lose the fight, and they are likely to lose the game. Oh, IG, they try and look for the Jack's flank. It comes in, but the rest of the team can't follow suit. CT find themselves the Chemtech soul, they'll find themselves the Baron. And while this game might just be an extension of a very poor level one, the mid to late game execution from TT has been successful. Desiril is not going to be anywhere nearly in time to steal that Baron. TT Worst walk away. Bet. The problem is they try and it goes wrong, and now they're really in the hole. 
Yeah, and you know, credit to TT for this game where, um, you know, in the first round, Robin, they was they sucked at playing sidelines. They were so bad at playing around them. Yeah. They'd overextend, they'd die, them. it was kind of bad. This game's been great for them. You know, you had, what, one mistake from, from UCAL um, in that mid lane where he kind of dies, where he could have just flashed his foil seed, he, he just disrespected it. Uh, and you know, this game has been really, really clean for them. I think that TT um, are a team which I, I rated quite highly coming into group stage. I wasn't impressed by their first series. This is more what I expected from them. Yes, it comes from a mistake being thrown at them. I'm hoping they can keep this up. IG on the other side, they need to have a better- well, I understand early. the desperation call. Have they spotted him in a second or two? They now know where he is. A stopwatch is blown, but that's not the greatest angle as Feather trying to body block. It's not looking that clean from TT. A flash out though from YSKM's engage means they still lose oh, one. Oh. And Hoya murders them all. The slicing maelstrom matching the thunderstorm outside our flat. Oh, Invictus Gaming. They try one last hurrah, but all it is is a charge of the Light Brigade and the lightning crashes down their heads. TT slap. IG in the face in game one. It's a last hurrah, but more like a cry of pain. They went looking for a flank and there was just nothing left in the tank. I credit them for trying, but Thunder Talk, we're never giving this. Front of something. Now, this is the one way you can kind of shrug off the um, the Sultuani ultimate. You stand the Alistair in front of it and you pop the ult because you kind mm -hmm. of like use ult for ult. Get here in time, but they still think you're diving this. There will no, be a 2v3. No, they're not looking to dive. I think they just want to stop IG's bot lane from getting XP. Now Arn's away from turret. Has flash. to flash away. GLFS is here, though. There's the turnaround. This is what I was worried about. The body block is solid. Double the headbutt into a pulverize. Gets something to work with. There's a teleport in from Nene, though. Gets tricky. Damage onto Vampire is big. First blog as a flash to the sky. But Nene gets so much value. It all goes so very wrong for Thunder Talk. You took the barrier in mid lane. You don't have that that global IG they outlast the pressure in bot side and they get themselves in, even though the wave is lost in mid lane Nene gets himself two kills off the back of this and that is more than a worthy trade just saw Griffith passing the other way they will get a kill in mid lane as a result okay. of all of that so they do trade back somewhat that's important but well that's very important to get himself another back and they're gonna go towards uh, now the bot side of the map TT have the control over this bot side river though which is better than their situation in top side vampire still gonna throw through the solar flare oh no the shot blast was blocked by plants it doesn't work out as well as they're hoping and now the turn around the strangle thought is good they lose the dragon and they lose a kill Vampire finds the ult, but he can't guide the follow-up after that point. Cal, he the has Domus in his top side, and also he has the barrier. Needs to be careful, though. Doesn't have a cleanse. Needs to dodge out Cal the skill the shots. They were aware of it. There's a flash on in. Still lands the ultimate, though. Flash out from the solar flare, but the Zenith blade after this Ucal in a 1v3 in the blink of an eye goes down. So, lead up to Herald. YSKM gets chunked out, Jay's but Ucal on that, so that'll definitely go down. But I think that um, TT will get themselves at least clean... Bot tower take as well. The six grubs making their cross map easier. You can see that Yukal thought he was fine. He's chunked out his lane opponent. There's no one Trying here. To push the line because yeah. they really felt like there wasn't many other options. So TT have a couple of options now. They can go heavily towards bot side. GLFS going towards top side instead. Feather has himself. You, you can't really combo onto an Alistair with ult and, and the, the passive item as well. So IG, if they had left towards to go, to go towards Dragon, they would have given up mid lane turret. They go towards top side instead to try and get themselves something yeah. here. They're trying to get themselves a point where, of course, the, uh, the Herald can end up being a bit of a cannon minion Ooh, itself. Well well done, the ult. That's unfortunate. The turn around with a flash pulverized means vampire again faces the sunlight down again that one goes towards the zyra beichuan sidestepping everything and then the follow-up is beautiful that should give up the mid lane turret i think oh, two big ults that's a huge turnaround but wait hang on the damage after is still pretty big from tt the satchel from feather back towards the turret is nice as well stays alive one xn lots of low health bars to play with but can't land a kill the lane so is looking to try and get some poke onto nani beichuan bit uh, over uh, eager there with Baytron punished by his uh, opposing number. A little bit unfortunate there. Could have been a tower for them. That's quite happens all the while. Uh, the Lucian gets tower on top side. Flash comes on in. But another fantastic strangle thought. Teleport behind. Vampire in danger. On also. Now oh, no. a threat. <laughs> Griffith throws a smithy of it all. That is just in a complete right angle. Oh, IG yeah. managed to wave clear through mid lane because Arn has his ult still available. But IG, they cannot afford these mistakes. Uh, Hoya, you're gonna be in a 1v2 pretty shortly here. This gets very scary very fast. Gets a decent cask option, but there's no real way to escape here over the wall. Base one coming on down. Nothing to save. Misses the E because it's just too short. And that's an overstay from Hoya. It is. He potentially could have... Um, Jax having been 
Given a kill towards that box, I believe they're yep. the one that picked up that kill against Hoya is in a great spot now. I think IG, um, the fact that they've held on to this mid-tower flash good. makes it so much easier. Feather has a celestial opposition taken away from him. When's the next big ultimate coming through? Great fun. We'll go and try and ward out YSKM. There's Dragon down about 6,000 HP. Hoya on a flank of his own. Gets hit by the Glacial Prison. But Zonya's so much of the damage. Hoya can look to cast. Try and get away. He's actually going to be chunked pretty low. Stays alive in the turnaround damage. is big. Mega Inferno bomb into three. YSKM flashing the head. But Paul gets onto Hoya. Now they're getting to get some damage back. As TT try to phase one out. The Strangle Thorns are solid. Griffith flashing on out of that one. The Culling is doing some work. But not of quite yet. Oh! Another Pulverize from Feather. Who just doesn't miss this series. The damage from the AD carries will surely run down the Jace. The defender of tomorrow broken today. Thunder Talk Gaming, they have he looked out. for the flank. They found it, but through the heroics of Thunder Talk, it was not enough. Zyra's gonna melt this Baron, and Feather on the Alistair, really the hero of the play. Gonna stop this uh, steal attempt coming through from GLFS. Got to hope so, Feather. It's holding on to his ability to spend from getting anywhere near this. It goes down, there was no smite, I'll know. This is getting pretty dicey. Feather likely to die here. We'll try and headbutt someone and get another, another double pole. Oh, folks. Zero sevens in chat for Feather. He's completely I winning that. And a sad fail flash from Arn means that he is left to dust as well. That feels so good. The other thing is you, Carl, and 1XM were largely untucked. And then uh, Illusion and an Ezreal with low health bars and the end of a fight. It's always going to be difficult to escape from them. And now the Baron is through. And now they can continue to shove on for a bit more. Yes, they don't have soul point, but... That map control they were struggling to have before this is now theirs to take. TT, it took him a long time to overcome IG, and particularly Arn. I think Arn has had a good game despite that fail flash. He held open onto that, uh, that mid lane turret for as long as humanly possible. But TT, the outlast that, now with the, uh, the Baron buff coming through, it should be so hard to defend against those six grubs with the wave gleaming much less against the Baron minions. They will do their very best, but again, their range is... Interesting this game. The Jace and the Ziggs, solid of course, but Ziggs will struggle more into the Baron minions and especially with the HP, you can't one shot the minions of the Jace either. You need to start queuing on in to deal with that with your hammer form as well. And that is just very risky at this point. So the wave player is gonna be a little reliant on going through a few more rotations than you'd normally like. Sure, that's going forward and the strangle thorns come back down to bring him down to earth. The Mega Inferno Bomb afterwards comes out, but it is just not enough at this point in the game. They lose a the turret, they lose their jungler. YSKM gonna get chunked out by a barrel as well, and now they're down a member as the shove continues. Ah, uh, GLFS doesn't even pull out that ult. We're not really sure what he was looking for. He's had a bit of a difficult game on this Sichuani 2. IG, as soon as that Baron went down, it became so much harder. TT gonna walk towards the bot side now, use the last bit of this Baron buff to get themselves probably a 5 thousand baron power play you rarely see them reaching towards quite that level massive breaking open of this game from tt it will well, probably I take think and one xn have had fantastic positioning oh. ucal just as we speak about it doesn't even need to cleanse buys both of the ultimates once again a swing and a miss you don't have combat stats you don't have ults ig you need to retreat and the oh, bus no. combined with this kill for any carry one xn survives and now ig in desperation stations this ship is sinking and it's a torpedo from Thunder Talk that might be doing the damage. Turn around is good. Wise came on the flank. Could be dangerous on the base one. Goes golden. Feather. Low. This could be a problem. Maybe IG can still make it work. They're so low. Wise came goes down to 1-4 right now, but Ucal in danger does not go down. 1XN gets another. Hoya finally falls. But the damage is well and truly done. The ultimates went astray. They ended up failing their retreat. And I so much HP. It was never really close. Unfortunately, on the other side, I just watched Nani fail Aww. the shot blast to kill out the Zyra. Vampire's dead again. a bit of a difficult point. We're going to go towards this again. He's oh away from his team. Look, at this point in the game, you're an engaged support that's behind. You have to get vision down. Sadly, all of the carries can kill you. I don't think it's this is last... it. Dragon, probably the last dragon of the game, let's be honest, folks. Um, if it goes to another dragon, IG have pulled off some miracles. Uh, TT, but they're going to potentially go towards that Baron on the bit top of a side. Switcheroo around this entire map, go towards mid lane instead. Arn has to throw the ultimate Doesn't for matter. wave clear. IG, if they're using ultimates like this when they're already behind so much gold, how is the fight going to look when they don't have those extra Wait, abilities? It does kind of get some chunk onto 1XM, but has a cleanse and will be just fine. Stays alive and the triumphal roar keeps him topped up anyway. And this is a big problem. TT, um, you know, they can sit here and Pulverize comes in. Just about there is that fraction of a second there, which normally is pretty hard to do against the Alistair, who's very good at those. Hoya, though, face checks four, goes golden, buys some time, but the blast gun is taken away. No realistic way to go anyway. But actually goes flying on in, interestingly, but will die. 
That is a break of one of those barons. So, YSKM has flash, has ultimate. They're using Ooh. that big ultimate. One extend, no cleanse. Feather in the back line trying to do some damage. But remember, the stakes are so high. You're in Alistair. We know that's a dangerous point of view. Still continue to go on forwards. The damage is huge. They lose one. Make that two on the side of Thunder Talk. But they are still going to break yeah. into the base. They lose two. But oh the damage God. on Yukal is still insane. Yes, Barry has flash. Got to do so much damage. He's 1v3. And he does not give a single damn. Yukal is so much damage. It doesn't matter that you've killed even two people. That was a good fight from IG. They Down pick up. Too many corridors. Feather also trying fight. to get himself into a strong position. Griffith, as you're rightly saying, looking for that engage, looking for the flank. Wise scam, no flash, but looking for That's the same. It. It's on to base one again. This time goes golden. Saved it for this final moment. Dragon goes down. Soul secured. Damage onto Feather. Does not go down as the strangle forms come flying across. And the light is finally snuffed out. They thought they might have a moment. But there is just nothing left in Invictus Gaming. Their namesake a lie this time around. As Thunder Talk walk the walk, lightning follows their footsteps. Yukal with the triple kill to end things off. It's a bit of a prodigal son moment for him. He has struggled so much across this year. But as it comes to really come to terms with this Nirvana group, the importance of this stage of the Rumble uh, part of the LPL tournament. He stands up. He is accounted for. TT, take the series. 11 and 1 on Lucian. It's a huge game from UCAL. The rest of the team playing out. These are the best highlights from the matchup between Weibo and LNG during the 2024 LPL Summer Split. Again, multiple times in a series if they want to. So, okay, has the over here. It has to flash away. Just bring it on. Hey, here comes Tarzan trying to turn it around. Will surely be a one for one, but the first blood is already there. Tarzan doesn't have to blow the flash. It's still Cannon Minion dying to tower. Wave lost at least uh, that in part. 6 too, but he's looking to just, again, help sh help his yes, bot the lane. If there's a fight, though, he's given up the XP well, for this. And he's caught on the recall. Wait, wait, that's a bad spot in a dangerous position as he's sat to charge the wrong way. Light taken very low, but surely fall. Hung, body blocking best he can. Light also very low, despite the catch, the turnaround damage to choose. But look who else is here. It's Shahu. Flash out from the Magnum Inferno Bomb. Will not quite get the Kuba Gala. Still surely falls. Shao Hu gets involved. He has flash. He has Buster Shot. He can maybe get another oh two kills here. If he flashes Found for him. a Buster Shot, he can kill. Flash. Buster Shot gets one. Gets the reset on the W. But the steadfast presence prevents the easy hop on in. Oh, I from that too. So it's Scout getting something from it. We were saying that, you know, we were wondering what form the mid laners would be on between Shao Hu and Scout. Shao Hu turning up early in this game. That's a good sign. Scout, he now needs to respond somehow. You cannot have one of these mid laners turning up and the other one not being that. Way we're going forwards. Crisp's in danger. The equalizer does a lot of damage. There's just nowhere to go. The permafrost comes on in, and the punish on the invade is swift. It is, and we can see how powerful that rumble is with a follow-up. Scout going forwards, trying to get something, get some more damage onto Tarzan. So they get themselves one kill. They get themselves um, kind of a good kind of dissuasion wards. Might be able to catch someone, but again, they don't have the rumble. Here we go, gets the Sejuani on, onto Shahu. It's a lot of damage back though, onto Scout. Shahu dies to the true shot barrage. Damage back is looking pretty good, but Tarzan just so low. Mega Inferno Bomb comes in, but it's a bit late. And now Breather's here, but that teleport is already too late. Everyone is dead. Weibo thinks they're safe because the rumble isn't at the play, but it's Shao who gets caught. I really think someone should have just- a bit dicey. Tarzan should still claim this dragon here though. And again, two one and one has the Eclipse. Is still doing Steam well. Have been on the downswing in summer. Who is going to be the one to re uh, kind of arrest that momentum? Ooh. Tarzan finds way away, but again at this point with the with the steel caps in particular, that isn't as much damage as it might have been earlier on in the game. Flash on him for the heroic charge. The steadfast presence afterwards. Tarzan gets over the wall and just about stays alive. Mega Inferno Bomb comes on down. I think LNG have just gone too deep. Mega Inferno Bomb is there, but look who else is here. Scout flash on for Gala. Lands a Q. Cannot land another. The body blocks from light. Keep everyone alive. Shahu is on the bot side of that fight oh too. Days. He might still be able to jump in. He's going to stop Ooh. the hex flash. No, not quite hung. Eats up that buster shot. This and will very, very important too. If they get this Herald, get themselves side lanes open and then also get that Herald onto mid lane potentially. I think LNG, they'll be very happy with how they can play out that mid game. I think LNG have been very, very good. Um, even in the summer against top esports, they had a six for one tower trade or something like that mm -hmm. in the group stage victory they had in game one of the second round robin versus them. They've been very good at tower based gameplay. That has been um, their forte so far. And even last year when they had Tarzan on their roster with Scout, that was one of the better things they could work towards. Breathe taken very low, flashes immediately and has to pop the ult as well. No. Either way, it stops Mundo healing. LNG tower based gameplay again. Scout getting the side lane goal and LNG opening up the map. They still have a Herald to lose. Use rather. All right, well, the Herald summoned in mid lane, looking to try and get a charge on here. Flash away from light to avoid 
the glacial prison. This time we'll get a get out of jail free. Scout Valkyrie's over the wall, but does get hit by the bone saw regardless. Maybe forced to flash here as breathe pretty quick and has to flash the second briefcase. Now Hong potentially in a dangerous position, looking for the keeper's. Oh, verdict. he's only got hex flash. He oh, needs the charge. Boy. Not gonna let him. He's in so much danger. Shaohu now behind everybody could prove to be really scary here. Um, Shaohu. Uh, yeah, Pal? he's teleported in. Oh. I don't really know if he knows what he's what's doing yet. Oh, he do. spots out way away. He's Whoa. gonna jump in. Oh, he gets really ugly. Scout's still here though. What on earth am I witnessing? Wait, wait. Can't get over the wall because he's body blocked and Tarzan gets that one too. You know what? It has been a while since we've seen one of the Shao Hu. Yeah. He actually does have a blue buff underneath him. Did he actually end up getting there? I think I, I missed that one. I think he didn't get it. I think Tarzan has it. Okay. Right, so LNG, um, they are going to get themselves that dragon. They do lose themselves that top lane out of turret. So, once again, we're getting ourselves very even trades. Two towers for two towers. Side lanes nice open. Zucker almost has that ignite, as you're rightfully saying. Zucker is going towards that second mass for the Rift Maker for continued oh, damage over time. Breathe. I think Breathe's overstayed. See how it plays. I wonder whether the Wave want to come and play this. Going to have the maximum dosage available, but it's just nowhere to heal through. It's just too much. And despite Tarzan and Chris both being in the area, they don't really want to come and play this one for now. Flash on Tarzan. forward for the Winter's Flail. Tarzan now in a dangerous position himself. Does have the upgraded W, so gets to slow everyone down there with the Void Spikes. Yeah, but does that leave the map? I otherwise have liked. And splitting up that map has been the name of the game so far. It has all been about this sideline. Uh, that Tarzan. is a Hexgate. Hong, is he Ta -ta caught out with Tarzan? That's a huge amount of damage. He took that Hexgate. It was a complete mistake. Tarzan's the one that gets caught out. LNG ready and waiting. What have Weibo got left? Scout Valkyrie's on him. They lose Shahu as well. And Baron has spawned. You've lost your jungle and mid lane. Just as Barrett is available as well. It's been a couple of minutes. It's been waiting there for the first opportunity. LNG get a great couple of picks. Weibo, I don't think they got the damage left. Light has an ultimate. Is that enough? Uh, Zucker looking for an angle here with the equalizer as well. Light might have to try and throw out a big mega inferno bomb. It's an early-ish smite here from Weiwei. Wei, trying to use both charges of it. Zucker taking pretty low. Continue to contest. The bombs keep flying on through. The equalizer now comes on down. It is a 3v5. Nearly steals it away. Does not quite get it. Does Light. And now Scout can hop on forward. Doesn't have that much mana though, so how much damage he can do might be a little limited. Breathe. Body blocking for the, the Ziggs who does <laughs> some work. And Poppy just gets melted by Breathe with a hard steel prop, but the damage is already done. The whole team of Use that W to show that's not been started. Maybe he thinks, well, they're not on the Baron starting it. Maybe they're not on the same side of the map. But that just feels like a massive miscalculation. It was a known quantity because it was a ward in that bush. They knew the poppy was there. So I'm assuming they're thinking, well, we've got to catch. Well, that's the thing. You know that one person's there. It's one of those things when in such a tight game, it really is about trying to like thread the needle in those uh, kind of delicate places. But that's now this should be LNG's, LNG's game to win. I think it absolutely should be, and again, they have really good siege. You have some tank from the side of Weibo, and you can start wave clearing. Yeah, of course, there comes the Glacial Prison into the Equalizer. It doesn't actually get that much value from either. The turret will still fall, but two of the ultimates now down mean the rest of the um, siege. The Rumble hasn't really been managed that well. The Mundo will become problematic later on. In fairness, farmed okay, but got caught out enough times. They're going to try and engage into the jungle here, but it's onto Crest. Gala is there. The Tarzan is in a 1v2. Will need to hop over the wall and does so. Breathe now coming on over. The Scryer's Bloom was there. Gala misses the initial Q. It does misses the second one <laughs> okay, as well. That'll save him. And the Void Sponsor That'll there. save Hang him. On. I don't know whether it will. Zucker coming around. Is he trying to recall? He is Tarzan! What are you doing, mate? Gets the Eclipse here. We'll burn out. You can't just sit there. Well, I guess the problem is that there are so many members on top side. He's like, well, I gotta find a way out of this somehow. And just Ooh. doesn't find it. Demolish on mid lane from Breathe. Almost takes down the full turret. But Tarzan, for someone who's had such good form for Weibo, this has been a pretty disastrous mid to late game for him. Caught out multiple times and the rest of the team scrambling to pick up the pieces, dying across the board. Got himself a maximum dosage. Lands some slow. He's still pretty tanky here. Trying to back away. Shao who's backing out himself. I wonder whether they might teleport on this wave. Actually, I take that back. There's no option for that from either Shao Hu or Light. So it's just going to be the 1v2 and breathe. Just doesn't have enough of the tank. And Zucker was coming around the back end anyway. So nowhere yeah. to run for the so Mundo. It's very by easy. LNG, so there's at least some room to stall. I just don't know whether the late game, it gets that much easier. The Mundo scales exceptionally well, do not get me wrong. And of course, things like Tristana, Ziggs, greater in the late game too, but... Uh, this feels... is this is kind of the game state where... So earlier in the day, we kind of said this about Invictus Gaming a bit when they were behind the game. It's like, sometimes when you're behind the game, you can't really judge them Ooh. as a close 1v1. So the Flicker Blade's getting that junk cooldown back. But really, when, you, when you're this far behind, it's kind of hard. Shao oh, caught out in the side lane. I understand why the decision was made, but Weiwei is there. And we're thinking they might be setting up around the Baron because yep. that was alive. But Weiwei says, yeah, I know where you're going to be a real threat towards this rumble that has otherwise been uncontested so far this game. 
Kala here as well, so alongside Hung, Dragon secured, but there to get a stun onto the wall on the Tarzan, who doesn't get over the wall, gets knocked up, there's the Steadfast Presence afterwards, Equalizer does a lot of damage to Tarzan, who may be forced to flash, still has the Void Assault, <gasps> True Shot Barrage, flashed away from... Close run stuff going by the uh, going by the very edge of his seat there, Tarzan. Now with Tarzan with no flash being chunked out, that's the Baron start. One mistake in the side lane play from Weibo. That should be the Baron going with it. Light is here. They might be able to get back with the hex gates though. Still going down to about half HP. That will still be the Baron. There's no way back in. There's one big glacial prison is now secured. Is there a fight after? Shao, who's behind? They want this. It's very deep though from the Tristana. Mega Inferno Bond lands onto a few, but the locket shield is solid. Breathe being chunked out is tanked as he was before, but the rest of Weibo are not returning fire till quite yet. Tarzan gets across the hex gate. The damage on LNG is beginning to rack up. Magnusol from Chris gets a couple. Flash for the charge into the wall despite the Magnusol being there as Weiwei stays alive. They lose two and Weibo Gaming cannot end up in the same space at the same time. Zocker does so much damage. Go golden. Big buster shot away. True shot barrage is back. A triple kill to Gala. Pensant a quadra kill for Gala. He is the master of them. He's counting a lot more than the rest of us know. Make it Sesame Street. One, two, three, four, and five. Penta kill for Gala. The Prince of Pentas, Gala, brings it out at the end of game one versus Weibo. Penta kill to the Ezreal, Nexus to LNG. And it looked like a contest that Weibo might be wanting to take and somehow, some way, they still say no. Of course, it's Gala. With your transformations, but now a last pick can come on through mm. and it will be the Carthus. And that is pretty good with things like the double AD carry. She used to do so. Light uses the ult but blows the flash. You can see that Gala, if he ease aggressively, things get really difficult. That's kind of a picture of what can happen later. You need to cancel things. Karzan getting the ult. Oh, big damage. The Pyroclasm coming across. Bounces off Gala. No more there. Tarzan misses the Q, or rather Gala misses the Q onto Tarzan. Let me get my uh, statements correct. Headbutt pulverized. Turnaround is solid, but I think we're still going to see a dead Alistair. I understand the attempt. It overcomes Weiwei. They can still play this one out. Tarzan, remember, down the flash. Will likely die here unless Chris can do a lot of work. Gala gets that one. Now Crisp is in danger. Flashes out himself. The slow from the make it rain is coming on through, but I don't think Miss Fortune can throw enough money at this one. The Queen of Bilgewater cannot help Leona as Weiwei picks that one up. Light was pushing the wave and isn't there to help Weibo when they look for that skirmish in the tri brush after this point. They'll all also be able to reset in time for the grubs on top side once they've also hit level six importantly on hung lng this is a great reprieve for them it felt like a way very prominent in this early game it's a good sign for lng you know we have praised um weibo and we'll see whether way is going to get caught out he's here he's, he's dead there's no way out no flash no hope for that one and shao who has not donated the kill because the burn from tarzan takes it <laughs> hey, at least one of them gets it he's done from tarzan if that hits that is a very dead corky not to be the case though dragon gonna be started from lng harold taken by Weibo. No zigs in this game for the hyper kind of Herald push, but you still have good tower destroying potential with the six grubs and the Gnar, the Misfortune, great ability to kill towers. Teleport in towards that bot side. Scout's done this before. He will just sometimes teleport to his top laner's lane to make sure they break open the map. This feels like a uniquely scout thing to do. However, it's left this mid lane open, and as we said, very good tower damage coming through uh, from the Misfortune, if particularly if there's a wave there. You can see that Weibo just looking to poke out the whole team with his first strike ultimate at that point. Yeah, and he'll get him some gold, of course. With the Black Fire Torch completed as well, always feels nice. There's a lot of no vision though, and that means Hung's in danger. Crisp gets damage down onto Hung, who flashed over the wall. Headbutt oh. afterwards, can't quite headbutt far enough away though. And it will still be a dead cow and steaks for breakfast. For yeah, what a, what, look, one of those burns was going to kill him. Chris still has his... Oh, it's oh, on to way away. Oh, that's a brutal one. The bullet time comes on through. The culling afterwards, not that great as Tarzan. Looking to get something more. Gala sidesteps the pillar of flame, but the tier one will likely fall in mid lane. Scout now here. Maybe Weibo have overstepped. The wall of pain is solid, but they're going to continue to shove towards this mid lane. Gala with no matter and the burn. Off that conflagration, taking Gala down so low. Now Scout's in danger. Remember, has no flash. Goes down as well. And Weibo continue the snowball. LNG can't find the retreat. They use a load of their mobility spells to get out of these quick picks. But there's so many... Greedy passing going back towards that mid lane. Uh, and he has to get, end up getting really caught out. Scout ends up just, again, really passing himself. Trying to get some wave play maybe on the back minions. If he gets one big rocket, it yeah, clears them out. Yeah. So that's what he's doing. He's afraid of the six grub push onto the mid lane in a turret. But it's a step too far. He's used his flash. He's uses Valkyrie, dies for it. Good punish. Hung now in danger. Goes forwards. Headbutts light away. Trying to find an escape. Does manage to get out of dodge for now. Gala gets a decent true shot barrage across a couple. Tier 2 in the top lane now. Now under siege from Weibo Gaming. Gala left alone under this turret. Could be in danger of Crisp engaging. 
crisp. Uh, another player which has had... Look, we, we can say this about a lot of players on both teams. It means... All the other turrets are down. They've managed to get another couple kills. The map is getting very small for our LNG, and we know that the likes of Carthus, who don't get access to farm, feel increasingly miserable. Hungcore again burned out in seconds, trying to put down some vision around the spawn of the Baron, and then this river dies pretty cleanly to Tarzan. It's a 4 1 on 2 on the brand. Tarzan is going to be really scary. He is one of the best brands Gee. in the Al. If they are hitting training dummies at level 16, yeah, they're going to do a hell of a lot of damage. I find it so hard to believe that they'll be able to do that. At this point, they would have loved to get um, Dragon, like, Anna Soul. Intensive, and her pool, mana pool is very small. Uh, that's very true, actually, yeah. So anyway, she's going to get herself to that one. Starting up the Baron. Again, Breathe pushing in bot side, trying to force maybe the teleport out of Scout. Breathe is in a teleport position. He's Ooh, coming wait, in. Wait. He's in a very dangerous position oh, for Weiwei. Wait. Oh, my days. This could be a pretty scary. Hang on. Hold on. Weiwei gets stunned up. That's a huge damage. Baron is secured, though, by Weibo Gaming, nonetheless. Now, the Breathe on the guard. Brain to back away, doing as much as he can to get out of dodge. Xiaohu, in danger. Managed to relentless pursuit over the wall. Somehow, some way, Weibo Gaming are retreating towards the other side of the map. In comes the ultimate from the Carthus. We'll stop the Crisps regening with the Warmogs. Breathe and Mega still being slowed, still in a potentially dangerous position. And Weibo have got the Barons. I think they just need to get out of here with all the members are attacked. Yeah, LNG, they were starting to get a, a team fight which looked okay for them. A split fight where Garlic is start eating forwards. So, Baron on five members for Weibo. They do lose a turret. Damn. However, Weibo, they don't have to immediately reset. Misfortune, very quick at running across the map, goes immediately into mid lane. So, even though LNG get the final tower of the outer ring from Weibo. They're losing inner towers, so they're gonna lose themselves the Baron gold and then the inner turret gold beyond this point. The overall cross map works out, of course, in favor of Weibo. The gold lead was beginning to neutralize somewhat, but now LNG gonna lose another dragon. They're gonna so, lose the Baron in a really solid place now. Yeah, I was wondering whether they'd be able to rush this in time. They are with both uh, yeah. Tarzan's burn, and then of course Shaohu coming through. Chris should just be fine. LNG, they're walking away with everything at this point. It took a little, little while to organize it. They get themselves the Breathe. resets now too. Breathe going forwards with Mega. Nearly got that one there. Gets a fairly decent chunk. Flash away. Goes him over and the Mega now into the wall. It's brutal, but Breathe dies. The damage afterwards can still be big. Zucker just about alive. Carthus eventually goes down to his bullets. His passive and the Requiem is solid. But look at the bullet time. Time for another grave. Light oh. gets himself finally that team fight participation. Gets the one. Realized that light would be here so quickly. That means they have to flash back. Breathe does go too far. He tries to set up for the bullet time. Doesn't quite manage to get to oh. it. But even through that, Tarzan is in range to do the extra damage. The first part of the fight, I think, goes a lot better for LNG than they expected. But the overstay into the long range damage in the second part. And now the Lord Dominic's regards is in for this misfortune as well. That ultimate's going to hit even harder than it already was. Zucker's on a flank. He has that flash. We did talk about flanking oh, threats later that's on. Huge. Tarzan's caught. That's a big moment. Tarzan, critical damage down. Chris gets onto Gala, but Gala should still be able to run down this Leona. The damage at this point from the Ezreal, pretty huge. Who needs engage when you can just do this on Ezreal? Gets enough autos, and that's another couple quick kills. So, LNG managed to get some of those Baron buffs away. That's three out of five now gone, but it is still six grubs. And if one lane is left accounted for, it's going to be way above. Right, um, so let's use that special glass for it. Um, Scout, try to wave click. Scout has been really hard forced onto this game as well. I think that he yeah. um, had a good first game, um, but the second game he has been really had a target put on his back. Uh, so need to see whether he can, with his with his items, three items, get himself to a point where he can damage the front line in the right way. He's gone for the Lord Doms instead of the Fire Cannon. He wants to kill that Leon as best possible. Hung is not tanky unless he has his ult running. You can see exactly what happens if he gets hit by a few autos and skill shots. Does have, have them war mogs at this point, so not going to be forced to retreat. Breathe, not at Mega yet. Chris goes forward, slightly ugly positioning. Zucker down dangerous. Chris has to flash away. Another turn around onto the red buff being started. Breathe looking for that Mega Nar angle. He is, and with Tarzan getting that W on target, see the damage coming through the bullet. wide. Soft flares wide, Hung going forward. Hang Here on. it comes. Ooh. Tarzan flashes on out, now Hung in danger himself. Breathe over the wall, looking for an angle on him. Doesn't quite find it yet, now goes looking. And Chris uh, will survive, Hung does not. So it's only the one for none. Baron spawning in a minute, Dragon spawning in a minute, so it's not an immediate objective take. But what Weibo Breathe do with the it, side lane. the mm. fact that Breathe has this winning matchup gives Weibo the chance to put LNG on. on a timer. They're burning down the Baron. Is it quick enough? I think it might be. There's no way that Tarzan's getting in. He doesn't have a flash. The Solar Flare is solid. Can he get in there in time? It's going to be his fight fight. Does go down to Carthus. The damage after is pretty good, but Tarzan dead. Does get murdered by the true shot barrage. Chris to the back line. So likely to go down. Roman doesn't have the flash. Gets the center blade down, but the damage after is just so huge. What for the record? We am though! Murders a couple more! Zucker is here, but everyone else is pretty much dead! Shaohu on oh, the brink days. of a quadra kill! What? Zucker trying to stop it, but he can't! Shaohu back in form, back on the kill board! Quadra kill for the Lucian, second of our day! Hangs up his crown in spring, picks it up in summer perhaps! 
have returned to the throne in his brain. They get a huge amount of damage. <laughs> they do. They wipe the Baron. They've got two members. They can shove in to try and end the game. Six grubs, 280 carries effectively. The Nar counts as mini. I think they can look for the game just like we saw on our first series in the day. Lucian, six grubs, huge kills in the team fight. Looking to end things off. Hung trying to get a combo. Maybe kill some minions. Does manage to stun up Shao over the tower. Still being tanked out. Ten seconds on Gala. Six now on Scout. Trying to buy some damage. Hung being run down by Xiaohu. Needs to get his war mugs up. Xiaohu will intend to take some turret shots. Not quite down. Is there a potential world where a teleport comes on through? No, there is not. The game there still is, stands. There is a teleport Here we go. Through, but it's coming from Scout. He's going to kill Xiaohu in Surely. return. Flashing gets forward. It. Gets the kill. Scout kills his opposing number. Weibo don't end the game, but they do get themselves... Wait, they don't even get themselves the Baron. They because, get the Baron, but everyone's yeah, dead. Well, they, they got, no one gets a Baron because LNG got it, and then Fight. they all die. One of these carries goes, uh, goes into a good team fighting angle. I think LNG are going to be probably uh, walking away with a couple of deaths on top of it. Need to find split fights. Find someone where the carries can't follow up on the damage. But the Lucian, the Misfortune, don't have their flash. Could be problematic. Gala! It's gone! He eared forward and Weibo punish. Gala, the Pentacle Prince oh, of Game no. 1, goes down in such an important moment. LNG, there was nothing to fight over. Gala dies on the at the worst possible time. What has he done? A moment of madness and the game is over. That one just isn't it. There's a solar flare afterwards. Gets a slow onto Weiwei. In a 3v5, they must try and hold. But Misfortune unleashes her all arsenal into the back line. Everyone is dead. It took them a moment or two longer. But Weibo Gaming, even the series up. Gala giveth, Gala taketh away. That game wasn't... Is arguably the best brand in the LPL. One of the best in the world. Yes, on the other side, LNG have gone for a longer range comp. They've got the double poke between the middle. Owen will be able to contest. Needs to be afraid. If he does get hit by a spear, things are bad. But wait, we might have just gone in with that bot prio. So we're in a dangerous position. Flash for the invade. Oh, wait, wait. That is a disaster play. Tries to go for the grump. You can understand what the decision making is, but you can't get caught on the way out. The wave was shoved for bot lane, but it was still crisp and light that were there first. We talked about LNG needing individual. Like Mortalers is a big broad terminology. It's like a, it's a little furry gremlin thingy. I don't know. That, that, that again, that what, is also. What do you want from your Yordles, Alex? Um, father. Yes, yeah. it was. It's no, I never did. No, it's good fun. Yeah, what was it like? It, it, it was quite like was, Pokemon was Go, like which, Pokemon which, 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 you know, was just less than the catching of Pokemon. I, I enjoyed that one summer. It was 2016, right? Summer mm. of 2016. One, the first release, fantastic. Well, we'll see if uh, LNG can catch themselves. Hang on. A shiny Shaohu in top flash side. Flash, the grand entrance comes on through with a quickness. Damage onto the Corky. The huge manatee just about alive. But Scout will eventually clean it up with a Buster Shot. Weibo make a slip up in the side lane. Shaohu's left alone up there. But Hang however, on. LNG commits so many people to top side that they leave the mid lane open. Scout will take top side with the bombs, but when you have the satchel on the other side, it's going to be Ziggs taking that down too. So first tower goes over the light. It's after the plates have gone through, so it's not the full gold coming through, but LNG choose to initiate this so much in the last uh, stage of the LPL. Teleport into Zucker's lane, even though he is losing the lane, just to get something onto tower. He doesn't get that much there. I think Light makes the right choice to go throw the ultimate down towards that to save that side lane. LNG are really prioritizing as a team, opening up these side lanes. It feels like, um, you know, last year they did a very similar thing where they had the, the Nash's Tooth as here in a side lane, taking loads of turrets, or whether it was just Dana with the bombs, using double heralds to open up mid lane turret where they can. LNG as a team are very good at forming an identity around a set play in the mid game around towers. I think they are probably the most tower his winning lane because there are three people in his lane because scouts ended up um, teleporting through to that. And they've just Hang done on. the same to shower who engage in the jungle, but it's not that great. Chris has to flash away. The turnaround damage is going to be pretty huge. Get oh! Blast come back. A fantastic auto attack way way. And that's going to be the Dies. kill. We'll try and see if we can find ourselves a way through to um, another thing. We'll go get ourselves the browser open. Sorry about this one, folks. Looks like the clean feed has just about died on us. We're going to do our best to try and get that one back for you. Oh, Hold man. tight. And we'll I hear noise. I think it might be back alive. I think it's back alive again. We'll go back towards that and back into a fight. The oh God, screen goes black. We missed the kills. You all saw it before us. Weibo, turn it around. Somehow, some way, clearly it was illegal whatever Light was doing, who <laughs> turns off. Can Weibo find the carries behind them? That might have Hang to on. be the, the uh, question. Breathing in danger, gets charmed up even with the buffer. No way he's getting out. He is dead to rights. And with the Ziggzolt now used as in a futile defense, Weibo have one of their big tools missing. You've only really got Brand now to Hang try on. and carry the team fight. Yeah, going on forwards, Garla getting a big chunk onto Tarzan. There can still be a Pyroclast coming on through, but already Crisp is burnt to his namesake. An eponymous fire brings down the Leona. What is Weibo doing? They try and get the multi-angle team fight. Breathe call out on the flank and LNG, despite the fact that they have a harder composition to play, 
find the gaps in Weibo's composition. They don't allow them to pull the trigger, and LNG will get themselves sole point. They'll get themselves a couple of kills, and Weibo, for all of us, praising um, the side lane yeah. advantage. Will likely be able to chunk himself, will get himself back up to HP if he just waits around a little bit, but the dragon is starting. Soul is just gone. That's it. It's over. It has been absolutely shredded. LNG, from a composition... They've never really had that big Ziggs combo to kill someone off in the right kind of timing, and now even with the Verdant Barrier on Weiwei, it makes it a little hard to go for it. They're going for it now, though. Weiwei flashes on out, and that's the Mega Inferno Bomb afterwards, and now the turnaround can begin to come on through. Scout gets over the wall, the quickness as well. Huge amount of damage is hung, just about survives the Pyroclasm burn. Merc Treads MVP, Chris mistimes his combo, and it means that Weiwei survives, Chris goes down. Now, without your big ultimate from the Ziggs, without your Solar Flare, you're probably just gonna fall apart against this Baron buff, because Sante's pushing in in the mid lane with no one to respond to him, and LNG, they've just found themselves a really important pick to allow them onto these towers. And even the chunk onto Hung doesn't mean all that much, because Warmogs is a thing, right back to full HP again. There's in Weibo, they try and look for that one combo, but it's been so hard to play against that Hextech, Aww. play against that big old oh. Baron buff, tower goes down, base broken. The explosive charge is so brutal, when Zucker drags Tarzan over the wall, who immediately has to flash out to safety. Zucker himself flashes and footworks. The damage back is pretty huge, but the Corky is dead. Scout jumps on forwards again, forces a flash out of light. Who's going to take a huge amount of damage? Throws out a bouncing bomb, but the inhibitor is broken. And with the mid laner dead, I think they can get a significant amount more work done here in breaking this base apart. I mean, with light, with no ult, no flash, and Xiaohu being dead, I think that they can maybe just look seconds, for the game. Yeah. You have a level 18 Tristana, maximum range, maximum firepower. Breaks down the first turret, Weibo. I don't think they have the wave clip. LNG might have just killed them with a thousand cuts. Well, you heard it from the 8080 commanders way back in episode 5. The revenge of the Sith and the Empire striking back, targeting the rebel base for maximum firepower with 15 seconds left on Xiaohu. I don't think there's anything left to stop them. A buster shot away. If any Beagle stops Scout, wait, he's taken pretty low. Should still survive. The Mega Inferno Bomb is hopped on out of an LNG. Turn game three. These were some of the best moments from the matchup between WBG and LNG during the 2024 LPL Summer Split. Which moment was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below.